<laughs> the message is important, but the messengers have lost trust and credibility by their actions. Yeah, you have. Uh, yeah, you have. Too bad. Because the message is important. We're doing a disservice to the masses. Doc Phillips. <laughs> We do have two comic cards. We have Hamid Khan and Jamie Garcia. The message is important. The message is important to public safety. The message is important to public well-being. The message is important to community health. But yes, the messengers have lost trust. Because you are the messenger. You, Sobrov, who tried to act up, was the messenger of to serve and protect. He's smiling. But if you lies and completely masking everything else and becoming a shock absorber for state violence, you have lost credibility and trust in the eyes of the people. Yes, the message is critical. The message is critical because people want to live peaceful lives. The message is critical because people want health facilities, people want youth centers, people want community centers. People don't want to be killed at the hands of the cops. You, the messenger, you, the face of this violence, you, the one who sits up there and presides, and I am a new president, has been presiding, and the new president presiding over this violence as well, presiding over this racial profile, presiding over corruption and violence of an institution that even gives a hoot about the Department of Justice consent decree. So don't sit there in your brand new and try to lecture us that the message is important or the messenger has lost trust. Let's be very clear because the people know who has lost trust and who has lost credibility. Right. Last night was another example of Matt Johnson sitting in his grand new saying that, you know, a few people, it wasn't a few people, it wasn't a few people at all. It was, it was quite, a, quite a lot of people over there who were there. And yes, people who didn't speak were also anxious about what's going on on an everyday basis. We have tried to reach out and meet with them, and yet at the same time, the argument goes on, but we got to meet at noon. Well, the communities can't meet at noon. we got to meet over here at this police headquarters. We'll come to the community and meet. So, yeah, you're right. You're right. There is something to be said about the message. Well, the message of the people who have all the trust and credibility is that we're not going anywhere. The message to you is that we're coming at you. Thank you. Yeah. It's Amy Garcia, and we do also have one coming card for Eddie Howard. So just to make it very clear what happened <clears throat> last night is that um, there was frustration there and there was a lot of frustration there and I think that at least that's being acknowledged. Um, but that meeting was, was initially initiated because Black Lives Matter is organized. They organized, there was a protest in front of the mayor's house all in regards to Ezel Ford and there was a promise made for a collaboration for a town hall. That town hall occurred without <clears throat> even the invitation of Black Lives Matters. So it was a complete dismissive, dismissive attitude towards that organization, a complete blocking of that organization being, particip um, being a, a collaborative partner in that town hall. So it was very underhanded and undermining of the community. So I want to make sure that that is clear. And so now, Mr. Johnson, what we're asking of you, and I think it's a very, a very simple request, is that you be present in a community forum a community and public meeting at a time when the community can meet. That's not, and, and if that collaboration can occur, maybe that dialogue that you want to have can also occur. But when the community is undermined, when the community is blocked, you're going to see frustration. And that's not something to be disappointed, that's something to learn from. So if you want to be that community leader, learn from the mistakes of our city. Realize that he undermined and dismissed all that work that one community organization had asked to meet with him and asked to collaborate, to asked to be a part of that process, but was completely left out until they stepped up and said, what happened here? We asked to be a part of that process, and you left us out. We organized with all these other groups, and you left us out. We camped in front of your house. We, did, we had our set of demands. We were consistently present, letting you know what we wanted and you undermined us, you dismissed us, you completely ignored us. That is the lesson here, and that is what I'm calling on you to not do. Meet with us, meet with the Stop LAPD Spying Coalition, meet with LA Can, meet with Black Lives Matter at a time when the community can meet. If you can do that, then you will start on a road that's a lot better than the